Okay, so I'm going to do a really quick review on the Avea 5 Pocket. So in a previous video, I bought this one here, which is the number 7. And then since then, um, I needed a little more storage space, so I ended up buying a 5 just to see how it would fit on this bag. So uh, really quickly, this is a Leica combination bag. I did a full review on that already, so I won't cover that too much, um, except to say that it's been working out really well. I really like it. Um, so let's take a look at the Avea 5 and see how well that actually fits on the bag. So one of the things I was wondering about is how whether it would cover this pocket in the front or not. And the reason that I was concerned about that, I'll take this off really quick, is if you look at the, just the thickness of this, if you were to measure this out, and then you were to measure it from the back of this bag, it... Um, it seems like in the specs that it would actually cover this pocket. In fact, if you just put it straight on there, you'll see that it would, except that because the two leather straps fit through here, it's not centered. So it actually hangs slightly off the back of the bag. So let me get it back on here again. It's supposed to be like that. There we go. So I'm going to give you a quick sense of how much this pocket can hold. So what I have in here is I have an umbrella. It takes up about half the pocket, um, so it can hold quite a bit. I'll also just give you a sense of uh, this compared to the M camera. This is uh, like M10. I will go ahead and uh, I'll put this inside of it. Okay, so here we have a Leica M10 body, and you'll be able to see that you can pretty easily fit this in here. And that's with a grip on it. So I'll go ahead and close it up. So you can see that's a pretty good size pocket. I can see getting a lot of utility out of this. Um, but you know, for my sake, um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use that pocket for yet, but I'm thinking that... Um, you know, it'll just be nice to be able to have for an umbrella or I have, a, I have a bigger lens coming in pretty soon. And so depending on how things work out with the main compartment, I may end up using this side pocket for another lens. I figured since I already have this, uh, this bag out that I'll also go through a couple more things. So I'll do a quick comparison with the uh, Avea 7 on the other side and I'll show you what I keep in there and then I can also show you what pockets I have in the main compartment that I've been really happy with. So let's just put this back. Might as well, right? Let's put a few things in here. Okay, so over on the other side here, this is where I have the 7 and uh, this is a smaller pocket you know, in retrospect, I suppose I could have bought two of these fives and then I'd have even more carrying space. But I actually kind of like having the smaller pocket, even though, you know, overall it makes the whole setup a little bit asymmetrical. And I'll tell you why, because I keep some smaller things in here. So one of the things I really like about this is we're still in the middle of COVID. This is summer of 2020. And uh, so it's nice to have hand sanitizer. And so I've got this bottle, and then I've also got this nice little one here. I got both of these from a plastic store, and they're made out of soft plastic, so they're squeezable. And uh, this one has a little pop top, which is really nice, and so it's very easy for me to be able to take it out with one hand. You know, oops, well, I guess I'm using some. And uh, I actually make my own hand sanitizer, and so I use 90% alcohol, a little bit of aloe vera gel, and uh, what else? Uh, some lemon essential oil, just a couple drops of that, and it smells really nice. But yeah, one of the things I really like about these bottles is that um, they're better than like a, a spray bottle. I found that uh, whenever I put aloe gel in here, it ends up getting clogged up after a while, and then I can only use alcohol. And the thing that makes these sanitizers really nice is the oil and the aloe gel because it actually feels really nice in my hands. It smells good and uh, it makes it a more pleasant experience than just using alcohol. 
So anyway, the point is, I like being able to put this in the side pocket and not put anything else in there because it's a liquid. Um, and then this one's really nice because I can just throw this in my jean pocket and it's so tiny that um, it doesn't take up much space. It's, it's almost small enough that you could put it in a, in a change pocket, but um, not quite. Uh, another thing I wanted to go over was these two pockets that I bought for the inside of the front compartment here. I talked about them a little bit in the last video, but it's before I got them in the mail, so I just wanted to show you how well they're working out. So these are small mesh pockets from Muji. I'll take one out so you can kind of see how much space it takes up. And take out these sunglasses. So you can see it takes up about half the size here, which is really great. This white part is just a label that I have on there. So I've got one pocket for all of the stuff related to my camera body and another pocket for everything related to my lenses. And so uh, that's really nice. Because I put these vertical, it saves a lot of space and I don't have a bunch of things rolling around in here, which makes it easier for me to like put my sunglasses in here and then I can very easily get in um, and, uh, and uh, use my sunglasses. Anyway, I just want to show these because they're working out really great. Um, I'll even show you another feature that I like about them, which is that um, they've got a front pocket that is mesh and that you can see into, uh, but then they have a second pocket. So this tiny little thing actually has two compartments so that I can keep a bunch of other stuff in here. So here I've got a lens pen, I've got, you know, cleaning cloth, and then I've got these lens wipes, which I really like, uh, which you can buy on Amazon. Uh, these are from, uh, I think it's pronounced Zeiss. So get these um, and uh, can be really handy whenever you're out and about. The worst thing is to have a dirty lens whenever you're shooting. So anyway, um, I've been really enjoying these. Um, in the front here, I just have you know a couple of uh, UV filters. But uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying these just because they keep me super organized and uh, makes it so that my bag is um, using the space efficiently. So. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, this was just a quick little review on the Avea 5, the Avea 7, on the Leica combination bag, and then the two pockets on the interior were the Muji small mesh pockets. All right, that's it. Thanks.